I'm Nick Payne. I've been in this industry for 14 or 15 years now. Uh, I do the vast majority of my work, um, certainly over the summer for SSE, um, based in Redditch. Uh, I'm one of their crew bosses um, and one of their senior system techs. Lakes have always been viewed as a, as a very high-end processor. They've always been, uh, they've always seemed to have been very well respected by people that use them. Um, if they're an industry standard and for something to become a standard standard in this industry people don't just buy things because they can and sound of all industries I guess people are very picky about the pieces of equipment they buy so Lake must be doing something right um, it's good to see that the, the Lake name didn't die when when Dolby bought it and, and then that whole situation happened it's good to see that somebody's, somebody's had the I guess had the courage to take the Lake name on and move the product forward As a company, SSE have been talking a lot to, to Lab Gruppen about the, you know, what's happening with the, the, the lake processors and where they're going, what they're doing with them. And the more we've seen of what's going on, the, the more the, the happier it's been. I mean, there's, it's been a long time coming uh, for somebody to bring out a processor like the, Do like the, the Dolby Lake, um, which obviously are now no longer produced. It's been a long time coming for somebody, somebody to bring out something that powerful that you can you know, throw in a rack and, and use to do m most things. Certainly from our point of view, when we're doing festivals and we've got multiple desks and we're, we're trying to matrix mix lots of things together, the, the Dolby Lakes are the perfect solution. And it's been, not being able to get hold of them has been, a, has been a real challenge for us. So having something on the horizon like the LM44 that's going to potentially replace that is a, is a great thing. It's a good thing to see coming. The LM26 is a, is a good product and as we've discussed with Sim and the guys from, from Lab, it's, for what we're trying to do with it, it has some, some functional limitations. Um, so having the LM44 turning up, is, you know, whether it's just us, us Lab have listened to or, or the conglomeration of the people they're using as beta testers, you know, they've taken on board what we said we need the thing to do and you know, it's, it looks like it's going to do it and we're looking forward to using it. And on that note, just the amount of the amount of input into the R and D that we've had, and the other companies have had, you know, Lab uh, Lab as a company are really listening, and it, it's great to have people like Sim and uh, Sim and his colleagues turning up and actually taking a proactive stance in what we're doing. You know, being you know having, being prepared to come to the, come to our base and take the time with us to you know, work out what we're trying to do and the best way they can help us. So it's, it's good. It's a good relationship. With all PA companies, you know, the, the margins in PA companies are very tight. You know, so you need to buy a product that can that can service a, a bunch of purposes as opposed to buying a specialist product for a, you know, for a certain purpose. You want something that you can scale up and scale down and, you know, and do, do multiple jobs for you. So I, I think that's you know, between the PLMs and the LM26 and the LM44 and the developments going on, I think, you know, I think that's, that's, that's going to help us certainly. It's going to be a useful product in the, in the armory. No, I, I think I think Dante is a good protocol. I mean, something I like about Dante is it's not trying to be too clever. You know, it's taking audio from A to B and, and allowing you to do what you want to do with it over a relatively simple network. Um, and we're, we've got quite heavily into into managed switches and, and running control for the, the um, for other people's products down the same network, and it, it all seems to function relatively well together. And again, the support I know Simon, who's our technical manager, the support that Simon's had from Sim and the guys at Lab. And the guys at Ordinate with Dante has been has been pretty good so far. So people have made a comment. Certainly this summer, people have made a comment in the difference um, in the difference in the high frequency with the with the K1 system that we're using. Um, knocking by the time you go by the time you go through the whole returns path, you're probably knocking 170 meters of copper out of the chain, and that yeah, that makes a difference. You know, pe people sometimes are a bit, I guess, scared of taking on new technology, but you know, it seems, seems to have proved its worth so far. Oh, the whole, the whole, lake, the whole lake experience. I mean, all of my experience with lake certainly has been a, has been positive, um, and thus far, the relationship between lake and Lab Group and us seems seems to be seems to be a really positive one, and it, it seems to be a, seems to be one that's going forward in the right direction. So it's, it's good. <laughs>